the man, sir. He's like a cat. He's got nine lives. Then find a dog with 18 lives. Uh, I'll get right on to it, Senator. You'd better. I want your best man from the special squad. And keep this quiet. If the press finds out about it, I'll be laughed out of office. I think I have the right man for the job, sir. Fine. Let me know the minute your man gets his hands on Tony Roma. Yes, sir. <laughs> lucky lady chosen by Simpsons to be the first to try our revolutionary vortex vacuum cleaner, winner of five prizes at the Atlanta World's Fair. I'm not interested. Are you deaf? I said I wasn't interested. The Simpson computer has selected you and you can't say no. You are entitled to receive a personal you, home demonstration. How dare you come into my house my like pleasure this? pleasure to present you with a free sample of America's smallest you, and most I'm powerful not vacuum. Please, please. There you are, no, Madam no, no, the no, Vortex. Please, before you say no, admire its functional compact design. Go to the most practical electric appliance money can buy. Battery powered please. Vortex is no I'm annoying cord and no cumbersome dust collecting module. It's more manageable, more please, convenient, please. more powerful than any other comparable no, article no. in the market. I Only Vortex care. removes the Leave invisible layer of cosmic dust left after other cleaners have done their best job. You're crazy. You're Furthermore, crazy. thanks to Simpson's space age technology, the Vortex has please, a built in micro dynamo that charges the batteries automatically, police, guaranteeing a million hours of trouble free use under normal domestic conditions. Or taxes no, especially don't recommended touch me, for drapes please, and ornaments. Don't touch all those hard to get at nook and cranny know. dust traps that represent a constant hazard for all allergies. Please get out suffering. right now, please. And that's not all, madam. The American Association of the Allergy Afflicted has given Vortex I'm calling the police seal right of now. approval. I'm calling the police. Another prize-winning feature is the Vortex adaptability to any kind of surface. Concave, convex, spherical, cylindrical, conical, mat, emulsion, or stucco. Vortex cleans the wall, giving a sparkling brand new look to the fabric. At the same time, applying an invisible veneer of secret formula, dust-resistant molecules that reduces dust penetration by as much as 98%. After the Simpson Vortex has been through your house, where are you going? Oh, no, not upstairs. Look at the way it cleans the stairs. Come on, come on, sucking up dust you never thought was there. Only Vortex clean is Simpson clean, and only Simpson clean is super sterile, space-age clean. Yes, please, even behind please, the pictures. Please. Yes. When I see the difference it makes, I can only blame myself, me, your local Simpson representative, Look, for neglecting to show you this little jewel. Oh, Who's that singing? Uh, that's my parrot. You have a parrot? Yes. Well, the Vortex is just perfect for parrot no, 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 feather no, 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 dusting. No, 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 Tony Roma? Yes, sir? Drop the comb and come with me. Just like that, who are you? Police. Oh, I have to go give evidence against someone? Against yourself. Yours truly. <laughs> I, I don't know nothing about me, honest. Please, can't you pretend you didn't find him? He's so kind and so gentle. Listen, ma'am, that's what they all say at first. But after he's ripped off your jewelry, it's a different story. Come on, let's go. Goodbye, my love. <clears throat> Move it. 
Yeah, man, one Simpson vacuum cleaner, courtesy of the police department. Tony. <laughs> Beats me why a cop in the forefront of the city's fight against serious crime is assigned to arrest a cheap gigolo like you. Hey, wait a minute. We're both the professional people. What's with this cheap shit? I guarantee complete the satisfaction. It's in my bread and butter, and I got a good reputation. You're ripping off your clients. <laughs> I wouldn't even rip off a supermarket. I provide a service for which I receive items of value to cover my expenses. Look, face it the facts, officer. A man's got to make ends meet any way he can. I'm an underprivileged minority supporting a mother who can hardly speak a language. So what's stopping you finding a nice nine to five? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking first. Many times, you just don't know how many. I'm sitting on my CV to agents all over America, Hollywood, California, because I have much to offer. It's a rock and a roll sing. Very talented. But I guess it's not my moment yet. Where are you from originally? Um, well, you're gonna take your choice. Uh, Anglo, uh, Italo, Paraguayano. Uh, my father was English. Uh, nice, tall, blonde, you know, cricket and all of that. My mother well, was Italian as spaghetti al sugo. Who's a Paraguayan? Uh, uncle Bonita's from Paraguay. He's not my real uncle. But he spent a lot of time working with my father. I look so much like him, it's just unreal. Hey, see that? We're coming up at the service station. See? Yeah, the service station. Well, I'm gonna go to the job. You want me to stop? Right. Famous for getting away every time you're arrested. But I'm just as famous for never losing a man in my custody, and you won't be the first. Okay. Too bad the batteries ran down. Back to the plan. the escape from that. You know, Hank, put on a 44. All right, come in, Sergeant. Captain Browning speaking. Lieutenant Parker. <laughs> That's fantastic. I owe you one. I'll send someone right over. Where? Yeah, go ahead. Got it. 58th Street? 58th Street. Uh, thanks again, Lieutenant. 
And by the way, congratulations. Now go on and enjoy your vacation. Yeah, yeah. Well, don't worry about it, huh? <laughs> okay. Well, what do you know? Lieutenant Parker of the Special Squad caught Tony Roma. He wants someone to go over and pick him up. Want me to go along, Captain? No, you stay in the Burgess case. Go ahead, go. Sergeant Forrester, in here on the double. I got a job for you. Yes, sir. Go to the Frost Garage, 312 58th Street. And pick him up prisoner. 58th Street. I'll get right on it, sir. That's right. No, you offer the phone. Can I call my attorney? I mean, uh, it's my constitutional right. No. Well, what's stopping you? At a car. It's very possessive. Before you're booked, the law gives you the right to make one phone call. Make it fast. If you don't have change, I can lend it to you on behalf of the city. Thank you very much. Hello? Ah, uh, yes, listen, this is Mr. Tony Roma. Uh, I want to work with my attorney, John Robert Howard. Okay, Tony. Hey, Pamela! Tony Roma, once more with J.R. Howard. Hello? Oh, uh, yeah, I, uh, who's speaking? That's why they call me Bob. This is Mr. Howard's office, attorney at law. Oh? Uh, look, miss, this is an emergency. I'm gonna have to talk to Mr. Howard. Oh, he's busy on another line, huh? That's terrible. Well, all right. Uh, could you tell Mr. Howard I just got arrested in two... Sure, sure, of course, mistake, sure, sure. But if he could have find the time to bail me out, uh, I'd appreciate it. I'll be down in just a second. Where are we off to, huh? The second police precinct. Thanks. Uh, the second the police precinct in 30 minutes, okay? Very well, Mr. Roma. I'll tell him. Don't worry. Uh, thank you, thank you. Come hey, on, you I need candies? your help. I'll be right with you. First, let me tell this dumb joke told to me by Kermit the Frog. See, there's this guy who wants to quit smoking. So a buddy of his says, uh, have you ever tried candies? And he answered, sure. But they don't like too good. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you say could and might be used against you. I was in a bed. There was no law against that. The bed and the woman you happen to be sharing the sheets with both belong to Senator Anderson. But she's a beautiful lady, and I'm a very attractive young man, and, well, it's a question of sympathia. Sympathia, huh? How about the ruby necklace, the two diamond bracelets, and the ring? Presents of her services are rendered. They were reported missing. Stolen! Where are the jewels? Who's your fence? Well, I don't have a fence. I got a more class than that. A pawnbroker took her to stuff. I got the ticket right here. <laughs> See? And what were you doing in Gladys Oppenheimer's bedroom? Nothing to make a file of complaint. Ah. Detective Bureau. Captain Senator Anderson? Yes, sir. Senator Anderson. Yes, sir. I have him right here in front of me. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Whatever you say. Right. Well, my cheap jiggle friend, the senator is sending over two federal agents to pick you up. He wants to take care of you in his own way. First as an angry husband, and second as a politician. <laughs>
senator. All right, Captain, where's that two-bit bandit? I don't want to waste any time with this thing. I want no scandals. Tony Roma? But I just handed him over to two agents you sent over to pick him up, just like you said on the phone. What are you talking about? I didn't call anyone. Is this your idea of a joke, Captain? It sounded just like you. It, mu it must have been an impersonator. Miserable, blundering, stupid oaf! But, but look, at least I got the jewels back. Here's a ticket. Then I'll have two of my best men. You'll have your best men do nothing. Well, what are you going to do about Tony Roma? Forget Tony Roma. Oh, that. Captain, can I get you something? Get me two aspirins. <laughs> my jewels. Edward, they're all here. Every one of them. Wrong, Virginia. Signet ring is missing. Oh, well, that has no value at all. I'm going to buy you another one. No value. That ring is more valuable than all the rest of this put together. Oh. Don't you remember who gave it to me and what was written inside? To my dear friend Edward Anderson. Always ready to help. Signed Salvatore Licuti. The most powerful boss in the mafia. Can your chicken brain understand the consequences of what I just said to you? Edward! That ring in the hands of that phony gentleman friend of yours that satisfied your senile carnal desires is like holding a gun to my head! Why blame me? Get me Captain Browning and make it fast. This is Senator Anderson. Marion, we all set, huh? Yes, Alan. Come on, let's go. Okay. Better put the alarm on, huh? What do you think? Setting the alarm. Sure. Look who almost got left behind, little Billy. Mr. Parker! Uh, hi, Mrs. Polyfax. Got a mommy kid. What can I do for you? What about that washing machine you sold to me? Eating up my clothes. It tore a piece out of one of my dresses. There's no washer better than a Simpson washer. Did you push in a little red button? Yes. Leave her in the up position. Yes, of course. Blue control left to right. I've done that. The heat regulator. Everything. You push the on button. Everything. I've done it and it doesn't work. We never had any trouble. I even washed a dog in our washer. Hey, Gretzky, come on. Gretzky, yeah. Come here, Gretzky. What language is that? Polish. I found him chasing parked cars. What about my washing machine? Oh, dear Marion, I forgot to take my diary. Oh, don't bother about that now, Deborah. You have a lot more to write when we get back. Oh, no, no, no. Before I go to bed, I have to record the day's events and my secret thoughts. I'll check it out when I'm back from vacation. Excuse me. Excuse me. Well, I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> Did I not announce I was setting the alarm? Well, no one listens, do they? Deborah. Who else? I almost forgot my diary. For all your writing, I don't know why you waste your time. So what did you know? Sorry, Debbie, but it's time you knew. Only Billy hasn't enjoyed your true confessions. And that's because he can't read. Oh, today, Sidney looked in my direction. I just know he'll propose and we'll get married. That'll be the day you let your imagination work overtime. How anybody can be so despicable to his poor sister-in-law, I don't know. Come on, Timmy, I only make fun of you because I'm secretly in love with you. Okay, I'm setting the alarm again. Everybody hear me? That's it. Okay, let's go. Now what? Parker, I have to talk with you. It's urgent. Can we go in the house? It's kind of private. Yeah. You're from Simpsons. Remember that. Uh -huh. Out of my cover, it says nobody in the family knows what I do for a living. Gotcha. Alan, what is going on? Business, honey. Take two minutes. Just a minute. Now, look, there's nothing we can do. We just have to wait. So be patient. Be patient. You'll be here in a minute. Okay, Browning. What's so important? Tony Roma's escaped. And how? I'll tell you how. I fell for the dumbest trick in a book. You gotta bring him back. Not me. 
No, I didn't let him go. You did. I got other fish to fry. You saw the wife and kids outside. I'm on vacation, Browning. Listen, you don't understand. Senator Anderson wants to throw me off the force after 40 years of loyal work. Me, at my age, there's nothing I can do. I'll be ruined. I got a wife. I got three kids. Parker, you caught him before. You can do it again, please. I'm trying to figure out why little tag's so important. Short of murder, he's done everything. And anything. As far as the state's concerned, the worst thing he did was go to bed with the senator's wife. Are you kidding? That's not a crime. It's charity. That's me. You should get a medal. How do you escape? A phone call. Some guy impersonated Sen Senator Ashton's voice. Sounded just like him. If you'd been in my place, you'd have fallen for it, too. Same voice, huh? Same voice. Come on, Dad, let's go. Let's go, Dad. Ellen, come on. Oh, please. Two minutes are up. I want to go fishing. Oh, we got to come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. I don't want to hear it, okay? Do you think you could tell us when you're coming back? You're right, Marion. I'm sorry, and I promise this won't take long. Sure. Attorney at law. I'm calling with Tony Roma. He's not in right now. Call back later. Yeah, Lieutenant Parker here. I want the subscriber address to 554267. Yeah, I'll hold. Loving you, Jacqueline, dreaming of Coconut Grove. Oh, Tony, you make me feel so rich. You always have to pay for passion. Love without a price is like a chili without a beans. What if Archibald were to see us now? Oh, he's so jealous. The price would be high. What are you talking about? We ain't doing nothing bad. I'm gonna take you for a ride, that's all. What we did an hour ago wasn't so innocent. This time I've been married 10 years, and I've never done this sort of thing before. There's nothing better to make a lady's heart glow than what an absent husband will never know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tony, you're such an animal. You just told me over the phone I'd find this guy Howard if I call back later. But later's now, where is he? He's not here. I, I mean, I don't know the guy. I mean, all calls for J.R. Howard are taken by one of the dancers. Pamela, that blonde over there. What's your name? Myron. Can I have this dance, Pamela? Hey, she's with me. Two minutes.
Yeah, you do too. Attorney, knockout. a woman's heart. Will I see you later tonight in my room? Your husband. Who, Archibald? He'll be playing poker. He'll be out all night. Fantastic. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Give me a kiss. Look, just leave me alone. I never heard of Tony Roma nor this Mr. Howard. How many times have I got to tell you? Listen, Pamela, I'm a patient man, but you're going too far. bothering me. You want to take a little walk, get some fresh air? No, thanks. Excuse me. You want to be a good boy? Or not? <laughs> or not. Huh? Oh! 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 Okay, I'm listening. I don't like bad boys. Don't just stand there. Call the police. Okay, okay. I'm the police. Okay, y'all got that. It was nothing. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Go back to your table. Music? Where were you? Look, I've done nothing wrong. I helped Tony because he helped me a bunch in the past. When he calls asking for his attorney, it means he's in trouble. So I had Bob, the impersonator, who Yeah, I here. know. I know the rest. Where do I find Tony right now? I don't know. He moves around a lot. He doesn't know himself where he's going to be next. Look, all I want is an address. Any way you think it could be. Come on, Pamela, you know something for sure. Well, there is one thing. It's great. Let's hear it. His mother lives in Fort Lauderdale. Her name's Annunziata Peppino. I know he goes to visit her at least once a month. So you had a pepino. Okay. Baby. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. It's Chanel Elite made especially for me. Strip. Mm, no, thanks. I think as you are. I'm a pretty pigeon. I never plucked a yellow pigeon before. Mm. Oh, reminds me of a tongue twister. Peter Piper plucked a peck of precious pretty pigeons. Oh, Tony. What if a Peter Piper plucked a precious pretty pigeon to pick it up? I put the ammo. Quick, do something. Hide. The window. No. Well, I lost everything. Why don't you try and win it back? Not lucky at cards, but lucky at love. <laughs> Come here, my little shoe shoe. <laughs> oh, that perfume's. Whew. Wow. <laughs> Mm. 
Salvador. Killing me won't solve nothing. So you say. You're gonna teach every big mouth not to mess with Salvador Lacuti. Thought I couldn't find you in Palm Beach, huh? I got eyes and ears all over. No, I didn't talk. It must have been someone else. Honest, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Could have killed you ten times. Ten times. I wanted to do this. Come on. Come on. This, you know, this, this, it's a bad smell in here. Come on. All right, come on, tell me. Who's got it? Don't stay like a bunch of dummies! Don't wear the female perfume! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. around until we pick him up again. Like this car, sir? Yeah, but uh, look, okay, we'll make a deal, huh? Will you trade it for that pink Panther right there? Oh, sure. You like this one pink too? Oh, I know how to. You know how to paint cars? Yeah. yeah. All right. Now, can I take a with me now? I can. Oh. Okay. Yeah, the complete cycle, Mr. Pepino. Now you'll be able to judge the merits of the Simpson Miracle Washer for yourself. In exactly 30 minutes, this self-contained unit has washed four pillowcases, five bath towels, three double sheets, two tablecloths, and another dozen items all washed to perfection. 
Does it dry them too? Mrs. Pepino, just feel those items. The Simpsons ultrasonic humidity remover dry. What about the ironing? Uh, even though NASA's commission is to develop a miniature, completely automated electronic steam iron attachment, I'm afraid it's not ready yet. Then I don't want it. Sorry. The price, Mrs. Pepino. I'm prepared to make a price for you. You won't be able to refuse. No, no, no. I'm not interested. I might be interested, though, in a dishwasher. Do you have one? <laughs> the dishwasher will be my pleasure. You simply turn this clockwise, pick the right program, and your Simpson multi-purpose washer is ready for your knives, your forks, your cups, your glasses, your crockery. Add a lemon and everything's spotless in 15 minutes. How's that for a dishwasher? Let's see how he washes those few dishes there, okay? Well, if you want a demonstration... Listen, Mr. Pepino. Before I do that, I have this funny suspicion. You make me out to be a horse's ass. Suppose I go ahead and wash your dirty dishes. You know what I think? You won't want the machine at all. Well, but next you'll be wanting a food processor or a vacuum cleaner. A vacuum cleaner? That's a good idea. You see, Mrs. Pepino, you must think I got home robot on my forehead. Hey, I'm a demonstrator, not a houseboy. Well, I live alone. If I don't take advantage of all you say is people that come around me. There's no man about the house. Haven't you a son, a husband? I mean, who's in all the photographs? I have a son who's very handsome. Look. Oh, he's a fine-looking boy. Yes, ma'am. And it's all thanks to me. I got no help from his father. Well, it's pretty difficult to do it all on your own. I presume his father must have done his share. The beginning, at least. Where does he live, the kid? In the room upstairs, hang out down here? No. No, he's in Hollywood, a big movie star. Yeah, Hollywood, Florida. He called to tell me to come and see me tonight. Well, is that a fact? You have just won a free juicer, centrifuge, and food blender. Yes, a Simpson Advanced blender and juicer, the best in the market today. Break into the house and blast them? No, no, no. I got a better idea. you around so the father get the full benefit. <laughs> Another statue. Exact duplicate. Loretto, Italy. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me, father. I told you not to wear guns in here. Get rid of it. A dumb mistake like that could blow the whole operation. If I'm going to pay taxes, I'll advertise on TV. Get out of here. Get out of here. Mr. Bukulich, Martinez on the phone for you. <laughs> uh, it's me, boss. Everything under control. We found him. We fixed the bum up with the one-way ticket of you-know-where, so there's nothing to worry about.
There's no charge for love. Ciao, Mama. I'm gonna give up, but it's an no affair. Yeah, right, I right, kid. You should talk to my family about it. I'm on vacation. Come on. Where's my mama? Mama. Forget it. The window's closed. Mama. Tony, my Mama. son, how you I'm been? I'm fine, Mama. Don't trust him. He tried to sell me a washing machine this morning. Then he wanted to give me a fruit juicer. He said it was a surprise for you. It's enough. Time to go. Why don't you stay a little longer? I fixed your favorite pasta with meatballs, Tony. He'll take a rain check, senora. Let's go. Mama. Mama. Bye. Some friend next he tried to sell you a dishwasher. You want to take a mica, huh? I wouldn't ride in that flower vase if you paid me a million bucks. Come on. Get in. Some annoy me, rat. Pretend to be a domestic appliance salesperson, bust your way into private homes, and browbeat law abiding the people. I get my paycheck for enforcing law and order. I don't make a living ripping off old ladies. I got a super sex appeal. You out of my good looks, so you do it too. It's my fault. I got given a face of what's a ticket to the top. Ticket to where? Hollywood, California. All I'm waiting for is a right moment to approach the wife of the president of Paramount. Yeah, all I'm gonna need is a break. Thought you were a singer. So what? Uh, how you think a Sinatra start? Well, let me. First, I need to learn battery check. Check the tires. Third, if I put on lead. Just a minute. The fourth, I want my friend to see I'm eating a cigar, so wait a second. I've always wanted to take my family to this place called St. Augustine. Yeah, I've been told it's the oldest settlement in the United States. The houses the way they were then. Everything intact, the roads, the schoolhouse. Everything just the way it was 400 years ago. Hey, what are we stopping for? Uh, hey! Uh, you Mama! Okay? Uh, What's wrong? Mama! Hey, you must have a pretty high fever. Ma. He's burning uh, up and uh, crying out. I gotta Ma. get him to the hospital on a double. Ma! Someone else's baby nurse. I brought in a friend a while ago with a high fever. Ah, yes. The man who had his stomach pumped. He was full of garbage. We're waiting for the results to come up from the lab now. Dr. Barbara York is with the patient. Room 91. Where's the lab? It's this way. Thank you. Mr. Fainer? Mr. Fainer? Oh, no, Tony. It's impossible. What would I tell my husband? But it's love. I can't live a minute longer without you. If not, I'm gonna die of a broken heart. It's not possible. Just to report me terminal, no cure. And I'll never step out of sight of this hospital again. Tell me your name. Uh, Dr. York? No, I mean a first name. Barbara. Barbara. <sighs> Loving you, Barbara. Dreaming of Coconut Grove. It could have been a lack of affection, uh, uh, an infantile complex, a uh, desire to be uh, loved. I mean, not being a registered addict, but look. Your friend swallowed 
second class Havana cigar tobacco. I mean, there's no doubt. Wait, hold it. I, I really think you should take your friend to see a psychoanalyst. What happened to the patient? Two men came and took him away a few minutes ago. I told them that Tony, I mean the patient, was still under observation. But they didn't seem to care. They had orders from Senator Anderson. I bet you a dollar they even showed you their FBI badges. Yes. Moving that again, for Christ's sake. Hey, you goombas are endangering my life. I got an incurable disease. Maybe the game's not up yet. <laughs> So it was Senator Anderson's a man. It was a kid in Africa to me. And I'm arresting you for escaping from custody for the last time. Detective Bureau. No, Captain Browning's not here yet. Lieutenant Parker. You got Tony Romer? Where, sir? Cross Garage. 314 on 58th Street. No, I'll be over to pick him up personally. I'm leaving now. Roma is alive, and the cops have got him. If he tells what he saw, it's the electric chair for me and for you. But that can't be. With my own eyes, I saw the guy get blown to bits. Oh, I saw the guy yeah. blow up. Uh, what are you standing there for? Get over to Force Garage, 31258 Street. He's there. And don't mess up this time. I want the guy to vanish for good. Okay, like you said. Yeah, like I said. Hey, what are we waiting for? Shut your mouth.
Hey, everybody out, we're here. Everybody out. Remember, kids, no letter box. Come on, everybody out. Everybody out. Come on. Can we go swimming here? Come on, Grunts. On you get. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Who's gonna help pitch the tent? Me! Me! Who are you? Nice to meet you, Tony Roma. Oh, golly, I must be dreaming. I uh, wish I was. I'm being a pursuit of a hired killers. I'ma fall ahead over heels. Mm. It was wonderful, like a two worlds are colliding. And then I'ma find out she's married. Oh, unrequited love. But I forget in my troubles when I look into you eyes. They're like the Mona Lisa's. Ooh. Oh, don't be silly. You've used that in front of you, Alan. Oh, yeah. By the way, I know Lieutenant Bach. That's why I'm here. I bet you got a pretty name. It's Deborah. Beautiful. I love you, Deborah. Oh, I'm feeling faint. Dreaming of coconut grove. You like it? Yeah. Wow. Hey, Debbie, I gotta pull a chain to get you out of there. Be anything bad? Go away. Come out of there, you ugly little Casanova. I'm gonna break your neck. Come on, you little runt. Run around and have a good time. Who's that? A friend of Alan's. Oh, he has the most romantic look. I swear he's the reincarnation of Valentino. Deborah, don't be ridiculous. You're a lousy watchdog, Grants. Sitsky, give me your paws, Oh, I don't know what you've done to make us love you so. Come on, there's work to be done. Deborah, come on. Huh? Who are you kidding? To avoid the husband, you did a quick split over the balcony into the room next door, and lo and behold, what do we see there? A real live mafia killing. And according to you, you raced around Palm Beach without committing several moving violations in the process until I hunted you down, arrested you, and delivered you to a sergeant from the 2nd Precinct in Miami. A crooked sergeant, according to you, who whistled up four mafiosis, Likudi's killers. At which point you saved your life by driving out of the garage, one hand cuffed to the door. If that's true, I'm Lieutenant Kojak. Then shave your head, because Everwood's gospel. I've had enough of you messing up my vacation here. You're coming with me to the nearest police station. Hey, look, you want to murder me? That's not the best way to do it. They're just a phone. Look who these are men. I don't want to see you dead. I just want to see you out of my life. Come on. Believe me, they're just phone. Look who My family thinks I'm an appliance salesman. So keep your mouth shut. I'll turn off the waterworks and act like a man. Uh, what? You heard me. Uh, yes, sir. There's no way to walk. No, sir. Get in the car. Yes, sir. Don't call me, sir. No, sir. Marion. I'll be gone a half hour. Something's come up and we gotta find a phone. Okay. I'll get lunch ready. Alan! Yeah? Will your friend be eating too? No. Yeah. Get in the car. We'll see after we make the phone call. I love you. City on its truth. I trust you about as far as I can throw you. You're wasting your breath. Just to do me a favor, don't call your precinct in Miami. Look, I'm really not such a bad person. Then there's my mother. Who's gonna look after her? You can be my agent. I'd be your houseboy. I'm gonna have this great recipe for spaghetti and meat. The way to a policeman's heart is not through his stomach, and I don't like spaghetti with meatballs. Let's find a phone. Come Pretty on. please. You know my mom. What Keep she do without me? Captain Browning speaking. <laughs> Lieutenant Parker. <laughs> and they say there's no such thing as a guardian angel, huh? So what does that make you? You know, this is the third time you've caught that little crook. Have you heard he managed to escape when Sergeant Haig got out of the car and opened the garage door? 
Yeah, the little crook stole the police car and drives it one-handed. <laughs> Boy, thanks a million. Thanks. By the way, where are you? A truck stop about 30 miles west of Jacksonville to get the family down the road. All right, well, bring him over to Jacksonville Police Department and I'll send two men over to pick him up. Oh, this time I bring him in myself. We finally found someone to point a finger at Salvatore Lacuti for first degree murder. He was an eyewitness. What are you talking about? What, what do you mean? Just that. Yeah, you heard, Captain, so keep it under your hat. Okay? I'm on my way. Where we go now? I should go shave my head, buy me a case of lollipops, and uh, do my Kojak impersonation. Who you talk to, the captain? All right, let's have your version again. He says you stole a police car while Sergeant Hay was opening the garage door. And but he's a real phony. What, though? He was a waiter for a mafiosi. That think a sergeant's a real uncle. All right, Sergeant Haig's corrupt. How come I tell the truth now? Because there's no door to Frost Garage. There's no way I'm going to testify. No way. I suppose I do, huh? You know what's still going to happen? Hey, I guess what happens? A throat cut in jail. Uh, just remember, I never saw nothing. I mean, who know the Cootie? Ah, forget it. You know the Cootie, and you'll testify too. For the simple reason that guys like Lacuti and Haig belong in jail. They gotta pay like well, anybody else. What's the difference else? to you? I'm the one who's gotta pay. By the way, there's something I don't understand about you. What's that? Why is the senator's nose so out of joint over you? He wants to pick you up personally. You covered all jewels. I better confess, I guess. All except the one. I kept back this gold ring. You know, look. It's almost weightless. I wouldn't say that. You stole me a ring. Tonight. How about that, huh? Now I get the picture. What picture? You just sit back and relax. Nothing's gonna happen to you. <laughs> you don't know the mafia. And you don't know me. <laughs> Take her off for a day. Something's come up. I'm sorry, really. I'm really glad you're sorry, because that makes all the difference to our vacation, doesn't it? I don't know how you feel, but I haven't got a lot of choice. Yeah, sure. I mean, can't Simpsons get along without you? Why don't they get a replacement for you while we're on vacation? I knew to talk to the boss. Listen, I lost sight of my friend. I saw him go off over there with Deborah. Hey, it won't be a day, huh? I gotta go away without her, set up a little wash in the machine business. Sorry. I'd like to merge you tomorrow morning at sun up. With just the two of us on a visit overseas. Where, Tony? Italy. For Nicoli, for Nicola. Italia. All oh, wine and romance. Yeah. Romeo and Juliet. And don't worry about Alan. I speak his language. No really, obstacles baby. are too big when you're in love. Really, baby. Seagulls over Sorrento. Hey, let's not to get ethnic here. Whatever they are, it's oh, a seagull. Tony, what is it? Hey, bullseye from the sky, baby. It's uh, good luck. Yeah. These are best when I'm blessed from above. Come on, let's go. Yeah, let's. Come on, boy. Oh. Naples, that's a real must. You know what they say? See Naples and die. And Capri, oh, it's beautiful. beautiful. Tom Mead is another must. Oh, oh Tom Mead, fantastic. Yeah, Tom wait for a year or so. Hey, a it. year or so? But Alan. Sorry, but he has to take care of some unfinished business first. No, no, and no. We're getting married tomorrow morning, and by midday, we'll be on a plane for Italy. It doesn't matter what you say, I'm not a minor any longer. You're dreaming again, Deborah. If I say no, then it's no. That was really cruel. <laughs> Another one of us. Mom, I want to phone to my mom. What for? 
perché si fa ma ancora jail? Le cure sono meno per me, non fa me. Devo essere mia mamma again. Marion, I'm gonna drive Tony to the phone before he floods the place. Come on, come on, let's go. <laughs> Come on, Grinch, out, ski, out. Mama! 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 You really thought I'd leave it open? Step aside. Right there. Hands on your head. Do as you're told and nobody gets hurt. Salvatore Lacuti sent me. You got Tony Roma? We got your family. Let's make a swap deal. What have you done with my wife and kids? They're in your tent. They're unhurt. Don't worry. But if you try anything dumb, well, I don't have to go on, huh? Come on, let's get this over with. We're in a hurry. Nothing's gonna happen, huh? <laughs> Say bye to that beer. Keep your hands on your head. Frank, Johnny, Buster, let's go. Line up where we can see and everything will be fine. After we've gone, it'll be like we were never here. Rich! Mike! Hey, what did you say? Hey! Tony! Oh, sorry, Tony! 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 Tony, my love! I was so worried for you. Life is like a rock and a roll. Oh, golly, he's delirious. You, you have to go over to them. Tony. I never mean it when I'm gonna say I love you, Deborah. But now my feeling is different. <laughs> Get out of here! Oh, darling! Okay. Are you hey. all right? Are you all right? I mean, who were they? What did they want? I guess you call it industrial espionage. Young Tony there is a brilliant da -da. designer. Da -da. Obviously, da -da. opposition wants to make cross, but they didn't <laughs> count on Okay, Billy, up you come. <laughs> Hey, kids, start striking a tent and loading it. Hey, Bob, come here. Yes, sir. We're moving to a campsite close by. You start working the tent. Sure, Dad. An okay. official campsite. Yeah, with guards and stuff. Start loading Dad's everything. No man. wasting time. I want out of here and fast, okay? Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, boy. Good dog. Good boys. Hey, how come we're not a right of first class on Everglades as suppress? I don't want to give him a chance to plant a bomb and blow a sky high. You know what it's like when you cross the mafia. So what are we waiting for? Let's hop on this one here. The last kind along of Fred Trano is the fathers from the depot. drive you to join a police force? Find employment on another job? Nah, it wasn't a question of finding employment. It was a question of making a career. <laughs> career to suck, if you're asking me. Make the world a better place, there has to be people to set a better example. Hey, that's heavy. You always belong to the uh, domestic appliances squad. 
No, my cover was dancing before I got married. Oh. You know, I'm curious about your family. Nice kids. They are yours. Jeff's father served 90 years, and nobody else take care of the boy. Then we adopted Yo-Yo. Yeah, I found her in Vietnam. Her village was destroyed. She lost her parents. As for Murphy, she came along because Albert asked Santa Claus for a little sister. Hey, what are you, sleep? Sleeping like an alley cat. in here. All right, come on, you guys, out. Hold your horses. Run away to Miami, Sergeant. Yeah, yeah. You can watch it as soon as you pay your fine. Okay, Lieutenant Parker, undercover mission, Miami Police Department. Close the door. So sorry, Lieutenant. Anything I can do, you just, just say the word, huh? Close up the door! Close the door! Thanks, sir. Ooh, take care. They're on their way into Miami. By freight train. Yeah. I knew they wouldn't get away, boss. You carry more weight in the South than the whole of the FBI. Yeah. It didn't happen to Jack Delgado. He's got this wife and his kid under the guard. What does he do? Gets his teeth knocked out. Jack's a pretty tough nut, boss. One of the best hit men in the business. These two guys are better. I don't want him to get away again! Just time. They don't know that we know where they are. Huh? Huh? Trey makes a couple stops before he gets to my end, right? Get the boys together. All of them. Was I have it to pee and I don't know where. Strikes. Looking for a John or a phone is a national pastime with you. It's impossible. What is a life? You have to eat, to drink, to pee. Life is much uh, more than that. For Pete's sake, it's a lot more than just satisfy your bodily functions. First, the bottle of functions, and then a rock and a roll. Oh, yeah, that's really important. It's a cattle wagon, right? Right, there's a bathroom. Oh. Oh. You're my kind of mind, you don't fall through.
boss. There's nobody here. No blood, no nothing. We never took our eyes off this in this wagon. No, boss, we never lost sight of the wagon. Hey, there's a hole in the floor. Yeah, about three, four miles back. As soon as they realized they're separating the train. There is. We blew the hell out of an empty freight train. Who knows where they are now? Why are you so quiet, Tony? When you stopped us on the road, you had so much to say. My friend is shy. You know how to break the ice. Well, listen. I'll get in back with Alan, and you get in front with Olivia. Olivia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Loving you, Olivia. <laughs> Dreaming of coconut grove. Oh, I'm crazy for you, Tony, and you. Wonderful boys. Oh, I'm so crazy about men with beards. Especially when they're big and strong like you. Oh, Alan. I wanna I wanna be yours. Yours? Yours? What's the matter with your friend, Tony? He won't talk to me. Maybe I'm not his type. No, he really liked you. You got it all wrong. We was talking about it before you got in the back, yes. Then why is he acting so uninterested? Oh, not in the personal. He just got over a bad case of the mumps. <laughs> you know what that does. <laughs> Tony, I don't want to wait till we get to the city. Let's stop over here. After all, Miami's not going anywhere. Is it? Here we are, girls. Yay! We're in a business. <laughs> here are the keys. So go oh. freshen up, and we'll be along in five minutes, OK? Why not? Ah, um, we have to go buy the champagne. Oh, when you get to go oh, in a bubbly, hey. the whole world is oh. lovely. <laughs> Don't keep us waiting, huh, Alan? Never. Ah. Bye. <laughs> Listen, you cheap Casanova. I went along with you so far because it was an emergency. But if you think hey, I'm going Hey, you jump gonna... at a gun. We need a wheels to get to Miami. We have a wheels to get to Miami. Cop, I can't go around ripping off automobiles. You don't rip it off. I'm going to rip it off and I'll give you a ride. Be my guest. Yeah, wait a minute. Delinquents! Cowards! Thieves! They stole the car! Oh my god! Fool like a couple of 16-year-olds on their first date! Let's call the police! Let's call the police! Oh my god, I think I'm gonna be sick! Oh, Olivia! Oh, Olivia! Are you the ladies Not from 111 now. and 112? The guys that took your caddy left that note. Dearest Kathleen and Olivia, we had to borrow your car for reasons beyond our control. You'll find it parked in Frost Garage, 314 58th Street, with a full tank of gas. And all our love, the hawks of the road. How do you like that? My God. Well, 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 Lieutenant Parker. <laughs> I can't tell you how happy I am to have the opportunity to thank you personally. And as soon as I'm in a position to do so, I intend to recommend you for promotion. I think this is yours, sir. I was afraid I wouldn't be elected. I thought, perhaps with a little help from Lakuti, it was a moment of weakness. When does your term run out? In a year. Perhaps I should turn in my resignation now. Perhaps. Good way to kick off clean up to city week. Goodbye, sir. <laughs> Down two to go. Salvatore Lacuti's gonna regret the day he ever set eyes on you. Mm. 
I'm not a crazy about this great idea of yours, you know? Well, you better start appreciating. Because if it works and I manage to send Lacuti to the slammer, it'll be thanks to you and you'll have the gratitude of the whole police department. Yeah, no, no. You drop out of charges, man. But uh, what if it don't work? Oh, think about it. All I can guarantee is a funeral. The expense of the county. <laughs> it won't come to that. No, sir, it won't come to that. I'm with Lieutenant Buck, I'm a guardian angel. <laughs> Park that van on his site somewhere. Wait till he arrives, then ring the bell, okay? Ain't you wait a matter of split, do you know? That'd be pretty dumb, as you'd soon find out. Yeah, I'm gonna have to bury myself. No free funeral, right? Hmm. Yes? Mrs. Haig? Yes. I'm Lieutenant Parker, City Police Department. Can I come in? Yes, yes. Hide your bags. We'll leave it. Just like that? Yeah, just like that. We're taking a little vacation. I don't want to miss a minute of it. Well, what about Fred? What about Fred? He's at your sister's, right? You can stay there. We'll get him later. Uh, honey... Look, stop with the questions. Get the bags. We're leaving now. You're running away from something, aren't you? What are you talking about, Nora? You've been found out, and so you're running. Who told you? I did. Lieutenant Parker, I thought you were on vacation. Yeah, tell me about it. Nora. <laughs> Even the thought of our son didn't stop him. You had to tell her? <laughs> Yeah, he had to. It might save your family. You play it right, Sergeant, it'll save your skin. No, no, no. There's nothing you can do. They're too powerful. You can get away from them once, maybe twice, but no more. They'll only get you if you're a fool. Do as he says, Edward, please. Get it through your head. There's no way you can beat the Mafia without supernatural help. Answer the door. The cavalry's ringing a bell. Hey, remember me, Sergeant? Who's making a coffee? Yeah. See, last room. Important thing. We have one just like that in the whole country. My mother, everybody, by the hand we, we go. Yes, see, last room. Good fortune, good luck, good luck. Good saint, never refuse nobody. It didn't take me long to realize you make your own good luck in life. Excuse me. Huh? Don Garcia Gonzalez is here to see you. Don Garcia. Thank you for coming, Don Garcia. You called. <laughs> I came. What seems to be the problem? If you don't Sell mind, if you don't mind, we we'll wait for Tom McCarty. Mm -hmm. Then we then we talk. Huh? Ah, Tom McCarty. Been a long time since I've seen him. Sure. Uh, I wouldn't sing it again. They keep that witness hidden until the trial. You're gonna be in bad trouble, Salvatore. That, that's all. That's uh, that's all you gotta say. Who got you out of trouble during the Gardini affair? You did, but I don't want to keep hearing about it. Hey, let's not fight. That's not gonna get us anywhere. Action's what's needed right now. We've got men everywhere. We'll get your man. Let me remind you, this organization is like a like a house. I'm a brick, he's a brick, and you're a brick. Remove one brick, one brick! The house falls out. Yeah? This is Hay. Well, I got Tony Roman. Yeah, here with me. Where, where are the other guy? They got the coppers with him. Got away from him. Jumped the freight train, ran across country to the airport. Literally stumbled into me. What are you wasting time for? Why bother the call? Put a bond in his head, kill him! 
The guy knows. You're true as a cop if you don't. He knows you're crooked. Yeah, I know. But he's got it all written down, a document or something. He's giving it to an attorney. Says he's prepared to make a deal, though. Bring him over here. Use the back door. No one will see you. He's bringing over. Hank is bringing over Tony Rome. Oh, then your troubles are over. Maybe not. The creep wrote everything down, gave it to his attorney. Damn it. Yeah, he could be bluffing. I don't think so. I don't think so. Tony Rome was very smart upstairs. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Hague is bringing them over. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> Last time I went with me, the Senor Lacudi, I was behind a drapes in a hotel room. I remember the one in the Palma Beach. I got this image of you putting a cushion on the belly of your friend and shoot him. Negro Guzzi deserve to die, and so do you. That famous night, you could have been any other place in the world but that hotel room. Just because I'm happy to be behind those drapes, you're going to do me in for, for good. Catch on fast, don't you? Come on, what are we waiting for? I know what you're waiting for. You're afraid, because that famous evening behind the drapes, I would see it all. And I gotta follow away. Details, dates, names. It's all in an envelope, Likudi, in the hands of my attorney. Witness and notarized. And I'm gonna say, if you don't hear from me every two days, you better make a faster phone call. Hello, police, you want evidence on Likudi? I told you that, bastard. Sure, go ahead, call him the names. You think you're naming on the envelope, too? You're bluffing. Uh, try me. You said you're prepared to make a deal? What's the deal? Huh, you want to know the deal? Let me tell you what the deal is. Yeah, but I've got a whole lot of other choice. You're going to transfer one million bucks into an account number in a Barclays bank in the Bahamas. Capito? Now you let me free, make the transfer, and when the money's in the account, you get the envelope. Now that's what we want. What do you want? The envelope. The envelope's in my life initial. You produce the money first. Who's your attorney? J.R. Howard. What's his number? Uh, five, five, four... Two, six, uh, seven, three. Mr. Howard's law office. I want to talk to Mr. Howard personally. I'll put you through to his secretary. Yes? One moment and I'll see if he's free. Howard. Yeah, I'm J.R. Howard. Yeah. I can make myself free, but there are two conditions. One is the authorization of my client, and the other is a guarantee I'll be coming back again. That seems fair to me. You got to the first year. I'd like to talk to your client. We got to the second. What do you what do you got in mind? I'll leave word with my office. Should I not return in two hours to contact the police? 277, 8th Street. Okay. Give me my client. <laughs> it ain't often the mafia's on the losing the side, huh? Our, our organization owns the mafia always gets uh, kicked in the face. We minds a smile, eh? <laughs> we lose, we pay. And over the album. Everything, everything we promised, Tony Roma, may have followed to the lead. <laughs> Police undercover squad. Lacuti, I declare you under arrest for first degree murder. Kill this guy! <laughs> I 
That's enough! So what? We haven't finished yet. Oh, now you tell me. Well, what about me, Lieutenant? You're gonna turn me in? As far as I'm concerned, you redeemed yourself. I'm gonna call Captain Browning and tell him to come pick up this bunch of no goods. Thank you, sir. Come on, come on. Get a move on. Inside. You, round the back. Striking an officer. What's he mean? He'd be out in an hour. If he is, he's some ass. 
And what about murder, intent to commit bodily harm, corruption? We can go on all day, want me to? You gotta prove that. You gotta prove it. We have an eyewitness. Oh, not to me. I'm gonna see nothing. But on the count of me. Yeah. I'm not to well, you witness what I tell that you. That depends on how his help will hold up. You want? <laughs> until, mm. until the trial. <laughs> I'm gonna run out of Palmer Beach. I'm gonna get this image of you from the cushion. I'm gonna belly you, friendly. Shoot him. Hey, Gregusa deserves to die, and so do you. That famous night, you could have been any other place in the world. But that was all. I don't realize it's my voice is speaking. <laughs> Thank you, Lieutenant. Well, uh, I'm afraid to go. Well, considering this magnificent crime bust and the brilliant police work and the fact that the senator wants to keep this under wraps, uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, you are free to go. Fantastic. Thank you, Captain. Lieutenant, it was a pleasure. Not so fast, Roma. The captain doesn't know about the other debt you've got. We are gathered here today to join in holy matrimony before God these two children of the Lord. If anyone has any objection, let him say so now, or forever hold his peace. Do you, Deborah Smith, take to be your lawful wedded husband the here present, Antonio Rosario Archibald Papino, to love him, respect him in body and soul, till death do you part? Yes. And do you, Antonio Rosario Archibald Papino, Take to be your lawful wedded wife, the here present Deborah Smith, to love her, respect her. But Antonio, you should have thought of that before. <laughs> oh, <my goodness. laughs>